Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can activate the event linkage in a workflow. This is very important because 95 to 99% of the workflows that gets triggered in SAP are event driven. Okay, so if I go to PFTC, this is the transaction I'll go and here I will select workflow template and here you have to give the template number. So suppose it is 75. Okay, to a bunch of 0, 75. And here this is for release of purchase order. Here you will see the triggering event. By default, this should be disabled. You click on this and you will be asked for a uh, customizing request. And the moment you do this, this will become green. So in this way, the linkage gets activated. Now in SAP, you can do the same thing multiple different ways. There's another way you can do is you go to SWE2, okay? And for this, the client needs to be modifiable. So here if I go and here I will see the business object. Uh, so here I will just see this was for what type of this was purchase order. So it, the business object would be bus 2012. So if I scroll down, if you see I'm scrolling down here it was 2012. You see this is activated. So you can do the same thing that I did by going here and you click on linkage activated and from there you can know it gets activated now once you have done this you have this customizing request provided sometimes it may happen that the dev uh, system and the testing system is separate so you have to copy this in scc1 or scc1n and do the client copy from here okay. so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day